Good Tuesday morning. Hey, beautiful sunshine. It certainly looks like a great day. It's just a little on the cold side. Uh, but boy, you can't beat that sunshine. This is looking live outside just after 8 o'clock on this chilly Tuesday morning. Our Gwaltney Group camera from the Lake of the City, the Pearl of the Lake camera. There is the Pearl of the Lake, the boat there in the foreground. And in the distance, you see all the, the blue waters of the Mississippi River and Lake Pepin. In the blue sky overhead. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Good morning. We are enjoying a peaceful but chilly day. We are going to have to, use to get used to that, unfortunately. We have a lot of days like this moving forward. We are going to see some snow, which is not such a peaceful situation, especially for that Monday or Wednesday morning commute. That's what's tomorrow. Uh, maybe a little tricky because of tonight's snow. But during the day time hours today, a, a peaceful, tranquil round of Cold, un-November-like sunshine. Temperatures today are uh, quite a bit colder than you might normally see in the early stages of the month of November. Typically, this time of the year, we would see upper 40s for highs, maybe even 30s. Today, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the 30s, but more often than not, the next week or so, we're going to be seeing weather that's very un-November-like and uh, quite a bit colder than the seasonal average. But uh, today, for the time being, here's the story in Rochester. Blue sky. Here's a look to the southwest with our Gwaltney Group camera from Signal Hill in uh, northwest Rochester. Not a cloud out there. We had a cold front move through the area last night. Yet another one that generated some pretty gusty winds. Perhaps you, you heard some of those winds rattling the windows around midnight. Uh, winds were gusting beyond 30 miles per hour for a couple of hours there. Uh, 22, the temperature right now in Rochester. Winds have gotten a lot lighter since uh, the overnight hours, but that cold air is pouring in, and uh, these temperatures are pretty chilly for early November standards. Mason City 22, uh, 21 in Owatonna. Earlier this morning, Owatonna and Dodge Center were in the teens. Uh, right now, they're up to 21 right now. It's 23 meanwhile in Preston. Uh, here in Rochester, light west breeze, 8 miles per hour. It gives us a wind chill of 13. Air pressure, a pretty high number. The barometer 30.33 inches of mercury telling us that high pressure is nearby and certainly we have evidence of that light winds and some bright uh, blue sky abundant sunshine the fast moving area of high pressure though it's going to move along pretty quickly and this tranquil weather will be gone uh, in a few hours we're looking at some clouds and then some snow by tonight wind chills uh, most spots t uh, teens of uh, the dodge center nine the way it feels right now 13 in rochester 18 in charles city iowa Blue skies and some sunshine. There are the clouds in the afternoon, and then we see snow. The first flakes begin to uh, fall uh, around 6 or 7 o'clock this evening. I think by the time Rochester begins to see snow, maybe closer to 7 or 8 o'clock. I think our western counties will see the snow at first coming in out of, out of the plains as that system comes in. Uh, but uh, uh, kind of a brisk breeze and increasing cloud cover. Satellite radar, blue sky everywhere. We are cloud-free right now. But there are the clouds coming in from the west, and there is that storm system coming in out of Montana that's headed for our area, and we'll see that snow developing uh, this evening. Here's high rise Futurecast watching the snow uh, from the west. This is what we're tracking in the future for the rest of the afternoon and this evening. By the time we get to about 6 o'clock or so, there it is, 7 o'clock, we'll see the snow uh, knocking on the door, uh, moving into uh, the heart of the area through the course of the evening hours around 8 o'clock, maybe getting close to Rochester, Austin, Mason City, getting some light snow there as well. And uh, looking at uh, the advisory that's in place that it was issued very early this morning, winter weather advisory, it starts tomorrow, or rather tonight, ends tomorrow morning, 6 p.m. tonight, going through 6 a.m. Wednesday, uh, two to four inches of snowfall, Rochester, Austin, uh, Albert Lee, Decorah, uh, Wabasha is even in uh, this winter weather advisory, though I think most of the southern half of the county We'll see the advisory type criteria for snowfall. And any time you see a winter weather advisory, um, sometimes it's up to the discretion of the National Weather Service because if it's an early season event and you're not used to having heavy accumulation, uh, may, you may issue an advisory of two to four inches when typically it would be three or more inches of snow. So some spots may not quite get the three inches, but uh, it's a big impact uh, with that snow nonetheless. Looking at cold sunshine today, snow tonight and very early tomorrow. It'll be done by, certainly by this time tomorrow, so certainly by 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. And then frigid weather later this week. In fact, we may even see some single-digit morning lows in a couple of cases. Uh, 22 right now in Rochester. It's 15 in International Falls. 24 in Sioux Falls, and yes, that cold high pressure is going to be with us today, bringing us that chilly sunshine.
Uh, future cast, there it is, moving out of the southeast. And here comes the snow. That area of low pressure is moving quickly. It's, it's a quick hitter coming out of the northwest. It's a clipper system, uh, one that moves quickly and brings uh, a light to moderate amount of snowfall. Not a huge, heavy type of situation. This isn't going to be a huge dumping of snow, but a winter weather advisory criteria. Three, four inches of snow, a typical and advisory and that's what we're facing out of this. Uh, snow it comes to an end uh, by around sunrise tomorrow. Maybe a couple flurries lagging behind that. We'll have a lot of clouds tomorrow. Kind of a chilly north breeze and highs and low 30s. Then tomorrow night with dramatic clearing and that high pressure coming in, it is going to be a very cold night. We may see single-digit morning lows by Thursday morning. High pressure right on top of us coming out of northern Canada. And with a light breeze and clear skies throughout the day, we will only be able to muster high temperatures in the mid-20s, especially with that fresh coating of snow on the ground in much of the area. And here's how we're, what we're expecting, the way of snowfall, the, uh, maybe the most important st uh, map here that we're showing. Uh, two to four inches, Rochester, Austin, Decorah, about uh, two to four inches in uh, La Crosse and in Winona. Uh, northward, it looks like uh, Wabashaw County, uh, two, maybe three inches. I'm thinking uh, lighter amounts otherwise uh, for uh, Lake City and areas northward and uh, Mason City, uh, two inches or so, but not in the winter weather advisory uh, criteria. But o overall, we're saying about two to four inches, give or take a few uh, some spots in outlying areas on this map, maybe a, a slightly lighter amount than that. High temperatures today around 35 in Rochester, 36 in Austin, 36 in Charles City, and 34 in Albert Lee. Mostly sunny, west winds around 10 miles per hour. Tonight, there's that snow. It develops this evening. It'll be heaviest around 10, 11 o'clock this evening into the overnight hours, then beginning to wind down after about 2 in the morning. Uh, look for 2 to 4 inches by sunrise tomorrow and a few leftover snowflakes early, maybe a couple of flurries beyond that. But accumulation should be done by around 6 or 7 in the morning. Uh, morning commute may be a little tricky, though. Keep that in mind tomorrow. Well, maybe allow a little extra time to get where you're going. 33. Brisk north breeze around 10 to 15 miles per hour. And beyond that, not even as warm as the freezing mark for a couple of days. Cold sunshine Thursday and Friday. A uh, little bit of rain mixing with snow late Saturday. We'll be a little warmer by then, upper 30s. And then a cold front comes through that night. And then we'll have a coating of very light snow early Sunday. And uh, looking really cold for next Monday. Highs only in the teens. The coldest high temperature of the season most likely by then. It looks like we're going to stick with winter mode for quite a bit longer as we are abnormally cold to say the least, for November standards. Typically, this time of the year, around 48 for high temperature, 30s for lows. We're starting in the 30s uh, for daytime high temperatures, and these overnight temperatures, teens and 20s, uh, more typical of December. And we get the single digits. You're talking almost early January-type conditions, at least for seasonal averages. So pretty cold temperatures in the coming days. So dress warmly, as we like to say, or, or be prepared for the cold, and be ready for tonight's snow. In the meantime, have a great Tuesday, everybody.